evaluation of how everybody's coming out, you know, and you guys had a bye week last week, so you got a chance to mentally and physically kind of rest. How they look today? Well, I thought it was one of our better Tuesday practices, Mike. Um, he's a proud bunch of guys. You know, we, we, like I said earlier, and not my own quote, but I copied somebody. You know, we're, we're all disappointed, but I tell you what, we work hard. These young guys deserve a lot of credit. They came out here. This was as good a Tuesday practice as we've had. Uh, hopefully, it carries over till Saturday. Um, Again, you know, Graham looks like he's starting to get a little bit more comfortable out there. Uh, what's the status on him? Well, we just have to, he's ready to go. We just have to make some kinds of decisions. Um, you know, we're going we're gonna to decide on what's best for the football team and, and, and who's going to give us the best chance to win. Uh, how much of that depends on, like, has he told you that he feels 100%? He, I don't think he'll ever be at 100%, but he's good enough to play. Um, you know, I don't know if there's anybody out here that's at 100%. Everybody's banged up, beat up. It's a tough season. It's, uh, you know, it's a very physical football game, but he's well enough to play. He's been cleared to play. You talk about tough times. Have you seen a lot of senior leadership from these guys? I didn't talk about tough times. Um, uh, we need more senior leadership. We need more more uh, uh, leadership. Period. You know, whether it's from senior or from freshman, we, the, the, the team always needs leadership because it eventually comes from within. A coach can only harp so long, and then it has to come from inside those kids. And they're they're trying. Yeah, they are. What do you know about Colorado State? A lot. Uh, I know Jim very well. He's a tremendous football coach. He, he'll pound you. He'll he'll scheme you. He'll he'll move tight ends. He'll get guys open. Uh, nothing but respect for what they do. You know, you talked about the senior leadership a little bit. Um, one guy, you know, in a, in a core that I think has really kind of started to find their identity a little bit in the receiving core. Billy Ray has also stepped up. You know, him and Gant, two seniors who, who are definitely taking yeah yeah they they've played. Billy's played very well. You know, it took him so long to get healthy. Uh, they're not by nature vocal guys, so you know you need some vocal leadership as well. But they're both seniors and both playing very well. How about Art? Art Art is quiet as well. You know, we, we, we Art does his job very 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 well. Uh, he's a veteran guy. I wish he would be more vocal when when times are tough, which is uh, happens in every football game. You know, we need leaders to step up, not only physically but mo emotionally as well. Coach, going back to Colorado State, can you tell us about the challenges they present both offensively and Well, uh, again, uh, offensively they do a nice job of scheming. Uh, Jim's a, a terrific guy that way. You know, they play with a lot. Of, they play with tight ends. They play with two tight ends, receiver group, three receivers. They play give you a lot of different personnel groupings that are, that we have to make sure we account for. Uh, they they defensively they're nothing nothing crazy, but they're solid. You know, they they they, they want to play good solid football and 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 keep guys in front of you. You know, so the chunks that we've gotten the last couple of weeks because of the coverage that, we, that we've seen, we're probably not going to get many of those. We're going to have to earn our way down the field. He obviously doesn't have the athletes that he had over in Alabama, but do they look, do they run, do they scheme similar oh, yeah. to what they Oh, yeah. Do? Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a heck of a football coach, heck of an offensive football coach. Uh, you guys had a week off to rest physically, mentally. Uh, how did it feel to return out here knowing that you got a game to, to play for and game plan for, uh, you know, this week? Um, for me personally, bye weeks always last the longest. I mean, you know, you're in rhythm, you got a game every week, and uh, I guess last week we just used uh, to get back to our basics, you know, work on our details. So it's uh, it's nice to get out here again and, uh, you know, look forward to this game. Uh, you know, we, we talked so much about, you know, early on in the season, you know, you're trying to recover, become healthy, and all those kinds of things. And to, to finally, sort of hit your stride. Uh, how does it feel right now? Are you feeling 100%? Um, I, I actually feel pretty good. I mean, you know, a, after one game, you, you're never 100% again. So, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much as close as I can be to being at my peak performance. So, I mean, uh, it's just, you know, coming out here, keeping my body healthy and, uh, you know, taking care of myself throughout the day. As a senior group, what do you guys do as far as drawing a line in the sand and thinking, okay, we can change the season around. We still have six games left. We can do some changes. We can do some different things. Um, where does the line come from and how do you go about doing that? I think our leaders just step up and, you know, try to put all those games behind us and focus on the next half of the season. You know, we, we got our next six games, you know, we could easily win all these next games. So, I mean, we, we just got to come out here, work and, uh, you know, come together as a team. Have you seen that a lot from your fellow seniors? Have you seen a lot of, a lot of guys being more vocal than they had in the past? Um, maybe not necessarily more vocal, but it's more of a kind of go out there and, you know, show you you're still here to play. You're still here to give everything to the team. You know, knowing that, I mean, this is the, the, basically the final season in this long journey of yours, uh, do, do you find yourself kind of just going out there and, and laying more on the line? Did you find yourself enjoying it more? Uh, yeah, I, I think I go out there and uh, have a little bit more fun. You know, a lot of the pressure is not uh, built up, you know, to, you know, for the future. So, I mean, th this is it for me. And uh, 
I mean, I, I play a lot better when I'm just relaxed. So I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, take it easy and, uh, you know, work on the little things out there. You had no touchdowns, which I found startling when I looked at your stat line last year. Mm -hmm. So now being able to get into the end zone a handful of times this season, how good has that felt? Feels pretty awesome. I have to say that. I mean, uh, you know, going blanks last season, it just, I, I kind of hurt my, uh, you know, my confidence a little bit. But I mean, coming out here and, uh, you know, giving the team what I could, you know, just going out there making plays is uh, it's a great feeling for me. You guys had a, had some time off last week. Now you, you finally have a game to prepare for at the end of the week. Uh, is, is it a switch that you're flipping uh, now at this point, or were you guys already uh, game prepared a, a week ago and you just eager well, to get back on the field? Well, last week um, it was pretty much, you know, everyone tried to get healthy, and we had, like, games too. So it was also for us to have, like, a team bonding. To get, uh, for us to get together, but we got a um, we got a little head start last week on some of their personnel stuff and some of their plays. But um, this week uh, it's going to be like a grind for us. Yeah, how much, how much is that? Sorry to steal your storyline, but how much is the seniors? Are you guys stepping up right now to really preach that message of this is a, a do or die week? Well, uh, our coaches always preach to us um, about how this is uh, very important to us, and us seniors got to step up. To, to lead the team because, you know, it's, our, it's like a very important game because we have six games left, 0-6. Um, so each senior has to step up and do their job, try to get everyone prepared for this coming week. Do you get the feeling that guys in the locker room believe that you guys can turn this thing around in the second half of the season? Oh, of course. Everyone's, uh, everyone in the locker room believes that we can turn things around. We just got to keep grinding this week and uh, keep uh, – Keep watching film, get our playbooks, and know what's going on on the field. You talked about the senior leadership. Is that something that's vocal, or is that something that you do more as far as your work ethic and things you do on the field? Um, it's more like vocal and also doing the right things off the field, like getting in the film room, getting in your playbooks, and drawing out on what's going to happen on like certain personnel. Uh, from what you've seen from Colorado State, I mean, obviously they just had a big game this past week. But yeah. uh, what have you seen? What are you keying in on? You know, as far as uh, what your main plan of attack is for, for this. Um, for our, for us, you know, linebackers is the you know come down and smack our uh, smack the old lineman in front of us, but also have our eyes right on our keys and reads because that's a big key this week because they have like a lot of stuff that goes on in the backfield, but. But at the same time, you got to stay on your man. Is it, is it, how would you describe their offense? Um, their offense is pretty good, you know, and like because last week they had like a big running game, you know. Mm -hmm. Their old linemen are pretty big. They come downhill, but if we just like smack them in the mouth or something, I think we'll be fine.